So, hi, my name is Piotr Pendlewski, and uh, today I'm going to talk about C++ what? So, let's, let's start with something easy. So, when you, as you can see this code, you probably think that uh, the type of a map is some kind of map, right? But in fact, it's not. It's integer. And this is, of course, because you can, uh, you can use uh, this operator, uh, the square bracket operator. Uh, and it's just a, a pointer arithmetic, right? That's, it, it, of course, if you will see 42 of t, that, that, then it will be what, right? Okay. Yeah, so the first question, of course, is uh, uh, does it, this cause compile? And the answer is, of course, yes. And <laughs> To answer the question, what does it do, I will firstly indent this code. <laughs> and uh, this code is equivalent to this code, which is empty lambda call inside lambda inside lambda. So it do nothing. And this compiles because we have uh, uh, diagrams in C++. What? <laughs> Okay, so C++ has a very nice feature, uh, and you can put uh, URLs inside the code like this without any comments. But uh, in in fact, uh, there is uh, some kind of bug, and you can put only one URL in your code. <laughs> so let me print some what, and uh, C++ also has some uh, very nice operator that do something like this. N goes to zero, right? And it, it works. And uh, of course, uh, many times you hear uh, something, uh, many times you hear about self-documenting code. And guess what? C++ have, has a way to uh, document code without comments. You can do it like this, right? <laughs> Just <laughs> and the, the thing is that, uh, you probably think that uh, this thing will print uh, what and some question marks. But in fact, it will print what and line because we have triagraphs in C++. Okay, uh, did you know that you can put uh, every, uh, you can surround every block with a try catch block? So you can do something like this, right? So th this looks madness, but in fact, uh, this is the only way to catch exceptions uh, from initializer list. So, in fact, this is not what. This is like, this is a very nice feature, right? But, of course, if you will see it the first time, then this is probably what. <laughs> okay. So, in this example, we have uh, a type def, long, long LL. We have two functions. First, that takes something by unsigned LL. And second, that's say unsigned long long. And then we call function with two URL. And you will probably think that uh, this function, uh, th th this thing will not compile because we have the same uh, signatures, right? And the fact is that it will call the second function and everything will compile. And this is because you cannot glue types like this. After unsigned, the LL is, is only a variable name. So, what? <laughs> Okay, does anyone know how to call destructor explicitly? Mm, nobody. Okay, so of course you cannot do something like this, right? Because it, it won't compile. The integer is POD, so you can, it doesn't have any member functions. But in fact, you can do something like this. So as you can see, we are using using, and then we can call destructor on it. And this is totally fine. What? <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you a story about uh, Nick Levitsky realloc. So there was a contest called Undefined Behaviors Consequences Contest, and uh, Nick was uh, working in uh, uh, LVM Clank team in Google, and he found out this code, 
which has undefined behavior, but it's, it, you, you, you can probably not see it on the first time. And what he did is he wrote special uh, thing to the compiler, so it will compile it in a funny way. So as you can see, this code is very easy, right? We, we are calling malloc, then we are calling realloc on the same pointer, which will return the same, the, the same pointer. Then we are uh, putting one to this pointer, then two, and just to make sure we are checking if p equals q, q. And if you will compile it with Clank, you will be like, yeah, so I have these two pointers that point to the same value, which is one and two, <laughs> right? This is like, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not even mad about this. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. And in fact, the, the undefined, defined, undefined behavior here uh, is, uh, it's when you uh, use pointer p, because you cannot use pointers after, after realloc. And this is, this is not something that everyone knows, right? Okay, what will happen? And you know, of course, in C++, uh, uh, this thing, you, you would probably think like, okay, this thing will uh, either clear, or it will, uh, it will do nothing, right? And in fact, C++ is some kind of quantum language and both things can happen, right? Because it's undefined behavior. And you know, I didn't have any not even comment for this, so I will just put this cut. <laughs> okay, so this function calls looks uh, perfectly fine, right? And in fact, the second line will not compile because we are calling my mean with int and log int, right? This is obvious. And for example, if we have a function that takes one integer and we'll put uh, extra parentheses, then of course we'll call this function with five, right? This is obvious. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see some cool optimizations. Uh, so this, th this function of course has undefined behavior because we are trying to access the fifth element of the, of the table. And if you will compile it with Clank, it will produce something like this. Return true. And you will be probably like, excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> and in fact, the Clank is doing a very good job. You would probably ask like, okay, why, why does it, it doesn't return false or something? So in fact, the undefined behavior only triggers when you will hit uh, the fifth element. So Clank assumes that will not get to the undefined behavior. And if we will not get to the undefined behavior, which means that we will find the thing in the table. So just return true. What? Okay. So this code has, uh, so we will check if Fermat loss uh, applies. So we have uh, three integers, we have, uh, we have loop that will never end. Right? If, of course, if, uh, if the law uh, works. And th this code doesn't have any undefined behaviors. Uh, there is no integer overflow, anything like this. And uh, if we will call this function and say like, okay, Fermat loss, has, if we will return one, that means that uh, Fermat doesn't, doesn't work, right? And we will probably never return zero because this is an uh, infinite loop. So uh, if we'll compile it with Clank, what you'll get is Fermat last theorem has been disapproved. It doesn't work. And <laughs> you <be> like, <laughs> what's going on, right? The <laughs> compilers are that smart enough to, <laughs> to disapprove flaws or something. And in fact, this is 100% uh, 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 standard compliance because if you have an uh, infinite loop or something like this, um, and it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't modify any volatile uh, integers or something like this. It doesn't change, it doesn't have a side effects. Then we can optimize it away, right? Like this. We, we don't have to prove that this, this loop will ever end. So we can just return one. Okay, so many times we have something like this. We construct another set. Uh, and then we want to we want to copy everything to vector and sort it. And this this code, if you if you write it and you run it, it will probably seg fault. And this is because we are trying to build good visitors, the, the vector good visitors, with itself. And you're probably like, what's going on? What 
why does it even compile? It's, it's obvious that this is, this is wrong, right? And in fact, uh, C++ standards uh, have a rule that if you declare a value, if you declare uh, some object, you can just use it whatever you want. And in fact, this is not a bug. This is a very useful feature. So I guess all of us uh, ever, uh, have ever used a scan, scanf, right? And all of us forget to put the ampersand uh, into, in, before the, the thing that we want to put, uh, value insight. So guess what? I have solutions for this. Okay, but firstly, I will show you the, what, what, what error we will get if you run GDB. It's like segmentation fall, no such file or directory. So useful, right? So I have solution for the scanf thing. Let's just assign value to address of, 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 of itself, right? And now, if we call scanf, everything works. We just put the address. OK, so let's talk about braces. So in C11, we have uh, something called uh, uh, new syntax, right? Uh, to initialize variables. And this is a brace in initialization. So in this, uh, in this example, we are trying to build a vector with one string inside, right? And of course, this thing will produce one and, and print the element with cppcon. And of course, if we will put the three variables, the same thing will happen, right? We'll have three elements, and each of them will be cppcon. And in fact, if we will put two variables, then uh, of course, this thing will happen. <laughs> and the, the most funny thing is that if you put the uh, two other variables, then it will crash. <laughs> and <laughs> so, of course, w what programmer meant, uh, and you know, oh, this, is, this is C++, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, of course, what, what programmer meant is, I want to do something like this, right? Instead of putting this, uh, this new syntax, I want to put just, uh, uh, call constructor like this, or I want to do it like this, right? And what compiler did is that, okay, so let's build the vector from initialize the list, which is, which is okay. But then, hmm, let's build this string with two iterators. <laughs> what can go wrong, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. And in fact, I have one minute more, yeah. so I can, I can show you one thing. <laughs> so I, I, I will just only have time to ask you one question. So how to define a function that you will not be possible to call in any way? And what I mean is we will not, be able, we will not have any syntax to call this function. So I will give you 30 seconds to think about it, and I will give you the answer. Oh, okay, wait 30 seconds. And of course, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about things like uh, uh, marking function as delete or something. Everything has to compile. We just, we just don't have any syntax or way to call some function. Okay, so who knows? We have two people, three maybe, okay. No, I, I, I didn't. This is, you, you can call the main, right? Why? No, I mean, you can define some other function that we'll call main, right? Why? Okay, I have other solution, which is much smarter. <laughs> So, if we do something like this, uh, this is just, uh, inside a struct or class, then we will not be able to call either this constructor or this operator, because the type of the T will not be, the compiler will not be able to deduce the type, right? 
And because those two functions doesn't have any name, we cannot specify the type, right? This is very smart, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Thank you.